So we've made it to the final section of your merchant portal, which will be your settings. From here, you're going to see there are multiple tabs, but rest assured we'll cover each tab independently. Starting with the account settings, we do have your menu settings. So you can see here at the very top, you can use AI to provide menu descriptions um, by toggling this on, or you can toggle it off and set your own menu descriptions for each of your menu items. If you wish to sale alcohol on the DoorDash platform, you can click this add button to sign an alcohol addendum. And then additionally too, this feature may or may not be available to you. But if you wanna use photos from customers that ordered from your store previously on your DoorDash menu, you'll be able to toggle this feature here. For tablet settings, you do have the ability to toggle between tablet access and chat feature as well as edit the four digit pin from your tablet settings. The most important sections here are gonna be your dash or pickup instructions and customer pickup instructions. So we do see it very commonly where maybe dashers are not following the process you would like when picking up orders from your store. Here, you'll be able to make adjustments, telling them where they should go to pick up the order, where they should park, as well as leaving additional handwritten notes and wanted to make note that when a dasher arrives at your store, this whole window here that you see will pop up for them, showing them all the instructions, which they do have to click and confirm. So it's just a helpful tool to make sure that they are abiding to how you would like them to come into your store when picking up orders. Similarly, we have a customer pickup instruction. So if a customer places a pickup order, hit the ability or edit the description more, so to speak, of how you want them to enter the store when picking up the order. There is an ability to toggle on and off for staff tips on pickup orders. And then operational settings, you can come in and play around here, but basically if you want to optimize how many orders your store is getting on a certain day, you can make those changes here. And then if you have alcohol set up on your menu, you can toggle from here requiring that food must be purchased with alcohol. So a customer, for example, can't just order a bottle of beer and have that delivered to them. Instead, they have to make sure they order food with that alcohol. The next section is going to be pricing plan. This will show you what your commission rates are currently set to. Um, the important thing to call out is there is sometimes the ability here for you to adjust your plans yourself. If, for example, you have more stores in your merchant portal than just one store, you will not be able to make the changes yourself. You'll have to connect with either your account manager or, or support to see if it's an option for your store if you did want to update your rates. So for this example here, we can see the contact support button which supports there are more stores on this portal than just one store giving you the self-serve feature. Store settings, this will be the store name. The important thing to note is by changing the store name here, it's only gonna change the name up here. So it's not gonna change how the store appears on the DoorDash platform. It'll just update how the store name looks internally through the merchant portal for you. Address, you have the ability to edit the address here. An additional feature is you can adjust the pin. So you can see right here that the pin is dropped directly in here. But let's say you put in the address and you notice the pin's a little off. You do have the ability to just click, drag, and drop where that pin should actually be. So it'll update the latitude and longitude for the dasher to better find the store. Additionally, you do have the ability to update your phone number as well as your website link and the description as well as the store logo and header images all from here.